Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Shalom, Mosan Christ bless you. are watching 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Gideon, and to my right, Soldier Nate Sean. Uh, today's topic is say no to idols. So all you devil worshippers out there, all you guys who bow down to idols, say no to idols, okay? So let's start with Exodus 20, verse 1 and 2. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 and 2. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 1. <clears throat> and God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. You hear that, people? God said you cannot have no other gods besides him. We're talking about the Israelites, not the other nations. We don't care about that. We're talking about the Israelites. You should not have other gods before us. But when you check the nation of Israel, we, we part of every single religion out there. Right. Read. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, mm -hmm. or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, mm -hmm. unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So the most I say, don't not make any imageries that doesn't mean you cannot have imageries when you read in the bible we had images in the temple okay we had cherubims big angels wing touching wings the main thing is you cannot bow down to them whether it's the likeness of a cow because in india they worship cows in different countries they have different statues for different deities we're not supposed to bow down to them right. god said i'm a jealous god and he's gonna punish us if we do these things you follow Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 64. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So in captivity, in captivity because what? We disobey the Most High God. God say what? We're going to serve other gods, wood and stones. That's your Christianity, and that's your what? Islam. So, because in Christianity, you serve wood, even stone too, because they, they make statues of, uh, of stones as well. Right. Uh, but the stone also is the Kaaba stone dealing with, uh, the, with, um, with the Muslim uh, religion. So, when you're dealing with, um, uh, whatchamacallit, with wood and stone, you got your fake uh, Christ, that the statues of Christ, your fake Mary, all the apostles that in the in a, in a Catholic church, people bow down to. The scriptures say don't do that. All right? But in captivity, we learn these ways. All right? So give me wisdom of Psalm 14 and 27. Let's see why we're not supposed to get involved with, with these things. What's going what, what's gonna to happen to us? What is the, uh, the end result, per, uh, so to say? The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 27. For the worshiping of idols mm -hmm. not to be named is the beginning the cause and the end of all evil. You see that, people? The worshiping of idols, not to be named. There's so many of them. In India alone, they have over 365 gods, one for each day of the week. I mean, each day, each day of, of, of the month. Well, each day of the week. Yeah, each day. No, each day of the year. No, each day of the year, because it's 365 gods, for one for each day of the year, okay? So, who the hell can remember all these names? But I guess if you're into that, you can remember it, but us, we're not supposed to be naming this name, like, um, to, to pray to them, to bow down to them, and calling on their names, and, and why not. This is not talking about if we're giving a class, and we, we're talking about, um, oh, you're not supposed to be serving um, um, the God Niki, or, you know what I'm saying? It's not going into that. It's talking about me literally 
call upon that name to worship it. Okay? So those names are not supposed to be named in your mouth. Because they are the beginning of all sin. Was it on that? Yes, sir. Read it again. For the worshiping of idols not to be named mm -hmm. is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. So another side this is showing to the first sin in the garden was worshiping of idols. It was not dealing with no eating apples. That verse you cannot find in the Bible anywhere. Call us, write unto us, and show us that verse right. where Eve ate an apple. Right. So this is going into the first sin. So that sin caused us to fall. So why should we continue in this when the Bible over and over is telling us not to? Give me Isaiah 2 and 8. Isaiah 2, verse 8. The book of Isaiah, chapter 2 and verse 8. Their land also is full of idols. They worship the work of their own hands. They worship what? The work of their own hands. You see that? The idols. Who make the idols? Recently I saw a picture. There's a flood in India. And in two different occasions, a male and a female with a big statue over their shoulders carrying it. But that's supposed to be your God. Why your God cannot walk in a flood? Mm. Why you have to carry that God over your shoulder? And how you say, if you were to trip and fall, what happened to that God on top of your head? Right. It's going to fall and crash right. and break into pieces. So you have to understand, there's no power in these things. The scripture said, don't do them. But what do we do? The same thing that the scripture <clears throat> said not to do. We always listen to uh, how you say to the other nations because we want to be like them mm -hmm. instead of trying to be like what the scripture says read it from the top Their land also is full of idols. They worship the work of their own hands that which their own fingers have made that with what their own fingers You understand have made. how stupid you are when you take your own hand, you know about well, not every single person know how to make uh, an idol, but it's still a hand that made it it's an artisan who really know how to do craftsmen who shake that thing, whether uh, by uh, using a piece of wood or using uh, a stone, carve it up. At the end of the day, a man made it and color it and decked it up. You understand? So the land is polluted and it's full of idols. Those are the only things we want to do. We do not want to come back to the Most High God. That's not the way it's supposed to be. So it's our job to come here and give you a warning not to do these things. Because Christ said, and the Bible said, don't do it. Give me 1 John 5 and 21. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 21. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 21. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. Say that again. Little children, mm -hmm. keep yourselves from idols. Little children. We are the children of the Most High God. It says, keep yourselves from idols. Why? Because we read already in Wisdom of Solomon 14. It's the beginning, the end, the cause of all evil. Give me Baruch chapter 6. We, uh, we're not supposed to deal with those things because if we do, we got, we're not going to inherit eternal life. We're supposed to serve the Most High God of Israel in the faith, keeping the laws in the faith of Christ to attain the kingdom. But anytime we go into idols, and idols goes also into your own sin. Things that, you, you know, you have, some parents idolize their kids. You can't say nothing to their kids. Sex. That's idolatry. Right. You understand? So we have to change our ways and come back to the Most High God in righteousness. Read that. Which one? Verse? Baruch 6, verse 3. The book of Baruch, chapter 6, verse 3. So when ye become unto Babylon, mm -hmm. ye shall remain there many years. And for a long season, namely, seven generations. How many generations? Seven generations. Uh -huh. Seven years. Go and, ahead. and after that, I will bring you away peaceably from thence. Mm -hmm. Now shall you see in Babylon gods of silver. So in Babylon, the most I got already warned us. We're going to see gods of silver. Right? And of gold. And of gold. And of wood. And of wood. Born upon shoulders. That means they were carried on people's back. They cannot walk, they cannot talk, they cannot breathe, they cannot eat. Even though people uh, put food before them as sacrifice, a few days later the food is rotten. Because what? The God cannot eat. To show you how dumb people are. Read. Verse, excuse me, which caused the nations to fear. Uh -huh. Verse 5. Beware, therefore, that ye in no wise be like to strangers. You see that? The Bible said don't be like unto the strangers. Which means what? The other nations in that case. Don't be like them. Let them do what they do. Why? Uh, hold that. Give me Psalm. The book of Psalm, chapter 96, verse 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. You hear that, people? The gods of the other nations, they're idols. 
But us, mm -mm. the God of Israel is our God. So this is why, uh, go back to Baruch. The book of Baruch, chapter 6, verse 5. Uh, read verse 4 again. Verse 4. <clears throat> now shall ye see in Babylon gods of silver and of gold and of wood, born upon shoulders, which cause the nations to fear. See that the other nations are afraid of those things. The other nations believe in those things. Why? Because those gods were given unto them. But not to us. Read. Beware, therefore, that ye in no wise be like to strangers. You see that? The most I said, don't become like them. Because that's not for us. But what we did in captivity, we became just like the other nations. Read. Neither be ye, be ye afraid of them. Why should we, we be afraid of a piece of wood? Why? It doesn't make sense. But people are afraid of that piece of wood. Read. When ye see the multitude before them and behind them worshiping them. Mm -hmm. But say ye in your hearts, O Lord, we must worship thee. You see that, people? We, the Israelites, to show you that we don't serve the same God as the other nations. We are supposed to say in our heart, we worship the Lord God Almighty who made the heavens and earth. But the other gods are given what? To the other nations. Who gave it to them? The Most High God. The Most High God didn't want to be a God to them. He gave them something else to do. We're not supposed to get involved in that. Give me um, uh, Exodus. 23, no, give me Deuteronomy 7.25. Deuteronomy 7.25. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. What are we supposed to do with them? The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. So all those gods, we're supposed to burn them with fire. We're not supposed to deal with that nonsense. So all of you guys who got statues in your house, who worship other deities, burn all of that and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Because if you don't, you're going to get burnt up when the Most High God uh, sent his son Christ back. Give me, uh, was that enough? Uh, no, this one. Finish it. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them. So, like we read in um, Baruch, the, there were guys of gold, God of silver. So the scripture said, when you burn them, don't even bother picking up the gold on it. So it's the same thing. Uh, brothers, you see in, in camp, brothers come around with uh, gold chain with, 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 with uh, false deities on them. Whether they're gold or diamonds, they're supposed to just throw it away, period. Don't worry about the, the, the gold. That's a small thing to sacrifice in order for you to get to salvation. Remove those that, 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 that necklace and throw it out in the garbage. Right. Period. That's what the scripture says. Read. Nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein. For it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. It is what? An abomination to the Lord thy God. It is an abomination into thy God. Who's your God? The Lord God Almighty. We cannot serve two gods. Either you're with God or you're not. So if you have those idols and you hear this class, guess what you're supposed to do? Get rid of them. Give me Wisdom of Solomon chapter uh, 13. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13. Reverse. Start at 1. The book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 verse 1. Surely vain are all men by nature. Surely what? Vain are all men by nature. Men are vain by nature, read. Who are ignorant of God, and who could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is. Neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. So this, we were supposed to look at the works. What is the works? Nature, you look at the earth, the heaven and the sky, the, 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 the ocean, look at a man. How, science cannot tell you how this me me mechanism is working. You understand? An engine that, that just keep going and, and going and going, that heals itself. Science cannot understand it. So as we try to get deep into understanding, we should just look at those things and realize, damn, you know what? There's a creator. Because you like, like a Ferrari, that's a bad car. A space shuttle? Shit, that's some next level next stuff level. right there. Yes, sir. It cannot make itself. You understand? Know Something made it. And you acknowledge that, but you look at human being, you look at this whole earth and say, oh, it happened by chance. Like I said, that would have been the perfect mistake. Because mm -hmm. everything works in unison. Read? So, Re hold up. So, you should have been able to look at that and acknowledge that there's a creator, there's a God. But men are vain. Read. Verse 2. But deemed either fire, or wind, or the swift air, or the circle of the stars, or the violent water, or the lights of heaven, 
to be the gods which govern the world. So we look at all these things and the other nations say, surely this is God. Surely the sun is God. Because without the sun, we couldn't get heat. Surely this is, this, surely the waters are God. No. There is a creator. Read. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. Mm -hmm. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. For the first author of beauty hath created them. So you see that? There is a creator, which is the Lord God Almighty, which is the God of the nation of Israel. So we're supposed to worship him. We're supposed to bow down to him. Not to no statues, not to the sun, not to the moon, not to uh, Vishnu, whatever. All them, Vishnu, all them, all them nonsense gods. Right. All right? So remember, we are the nation of Israel, and we're supposed to work, worship the Lord God. With that, we're going to say shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.